We're the only country in the world that you can dream to be anything you want to be. Because we have belief. We have belief that we can. We can dare to dream and be anybody you like in New Zealand. And the very fact that we have a larger percentage of startup companies makes us qualified to be people who have no, uh, are not averse to risk. You know, superficially, if you do a survey of those people who are in those business, what they're saying is we're careful with mum's money. We don't want to lose mum's money because we put the whole farm on this. And that's quite a different question than going back further and saying, we got out there, we started that business. I don't take risks um, uh, at all. Um, I didn't get married till I was 60, but I did a hell of a lot of due diligence. Um, <laughs> Uh, but no, what, what we do is we do, a thing called <laughs> we do a thing called failure mode cause risk analysis. We tend to get predicated on the immediacy of our business, the things that we're working on, rather than looking at societal changes and environmental changes that are going to affect your business. But for a lot of businesses, they'll come to a crunch because they haven't looked at those external factors that will drive societal changes. So don't think just about your customer statement of need, but how that customer statement of need is going to change over a period of time. And then you don't have to take risks. I've never lost any money. I've sometimes gone to the wire because we haven't foreseen very obscure things that happen. Um, but generally, we, we try and predicate risk. And fear is, is another thing that I find very strange because fear is fear of something that might happen. It's just a weird notion to me. Because why would you be frightened of something that might happen? It hasn't happened. So don't give in to it. If an elephant's coming towards you, you've got choices.